I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on converting linear forms to nonlinear equations. Here is a very interesting example. A straight line graph passing through the point 8, 5 and 12, 11 is obtained when log of y is plotted on the vertical axis and x is plotted on the horizontal axis. Express log of y in terms of x and part b is express y in terms of x where y is equal to a times 10 to the power of bx. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's try to understand the situation given here, right? So what we are saying is that a straight line graph passing through these two points is obtained when log of y is plotted on the vertical axis. So that means that on this vertical axis, we have log of y, correct? And x is plotted on the horizontal axis, right? Let's say this is 0. In that case, there are two points and joining them is a straight line. That's what we are trying to say here, right? So let me just connect these two points, right? So it is a line which extends, however, we are given that these are the two points through which it goes. And the points are 8, 5 and 12, 11, okay? So that is the equation for us. Now, we need to express log of y in terms of x, right? Second part is express y in terms of x where y equals to a times 10 to the power of bx, correct? So that is the question. Let's see how to solve it. Now, since we have a line here, we could always write this line in the form of y equals to mx plus b, right? So this value y is given to us as log of y. Do you see that portion? So log of y is this value y. So we get log of y equals to m and x is same as, as x here, right? Plus b. Now, how do I find M and how do I find B? It's a straight line, basically, right? So M is the slope. So let's find M first. So M is Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So that means 11 minus 5 over 12 minus 8. So 11 minus 5 is 6 and that is 4 or we can write this as 3 over 2, correct? So we get M as 3 over 2. Now, we know M. How do we find B? Right, so we know M. Therefore, we can actually now write down our equation as what? So, so with this equation, which is the same equation, we're saying this is capital Y for us and this is capital X. So to find the Y intercept on this particular graph, we can say that Y equals to, now M is 3 over 2, right? 3 over 2 of X, right? Plus B. Now we are given two points. We can use any one of these points to find the value of B, right? Okay. So let's substitute. 8 for x, 5 for y. So we get 5 equals to 3 over 2 times 8 plus b. Right? So that should help us to find the value of b. So let us take it on the right side. So from here, we know b is equal to 5 minus, this is 12, right? Dividing 4 times 3, 12. Or we get the value of B as minus 7. Okay? So we get the value of B as minus 7. Once we get the value of B as minus 7, we can actually do part A, which is express log Y in terms of X. Right. So we now know what B is, which is minus 7. And therefore, we can now write down that log of Y 
is equal to m, m is 3 over 2, x and b is minus 7. Do you see that? So that becomes our solution of part A. Perfect. Now let's look into the solution of part B. So this is our part A done. Express y in terms of x where y equals to a times 10 to the power of bx. Okay. Now let's look into this portion. So when we say y is equal to a times 10 to the power of bx, taking log on both sides, we get log of y equals to log of a plus log of 10 to the power of bx. So, so that gives us log of y equals to log of a and that is applying the power rule. We can get this as b, right, plus b times x, correct? So log of 10, this is base 10, is 1. So we get bx. Is that clear to you? Right. So we could now write this as log of y equals to bx plus log of a, right? Now, if you compare the two equations, log of y is 3 by 2 of x, right, minus 7. Here, we have log of y equals to b of x, bx plus log of a. So, comparing this, we can find the value of a and b. Does it make sense to you, right? So, what is b equal to? b is 3 by 2, right? So, we can clearly see by comparison that b is 3 by 2. How about a? Well, log a is minus 7. Correct? So, when you compare, what do we get? We get log of a equals to minus 7 and that gives you a as 10 to the power of minus 7. Right? So, a is 10 to the power of minus 7. So, in this equation, which is y equals to a 10 to the power of bx we know what a and b are right so so in this equation we know that a is equal to 10 to the power of minus 7 so we can write this as y equals to 10 to the power of minus 7 times 10 to the power of bx b is 3 over 2 right so we have 3 over 2x do you see that so that is how we can relate this in the terms of an exponential function, right? So part b, the formula will look like this as an exponential function, correct? So I hope you understand how we can actually provide a nonlinear equation for a linear graph, right? So, so this is a nonlinear equation, right? Exponential function. So we have a nonlinear equation and that is how we do it so i hope it helps you to understand the very basic concept feel free to write a comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best